welcome to Archcraft, minimal, lightweight and fast Linux distribution that's based on Arch Linux. At the top we have this panel and then at the bottom we have a floating dock. On the left we have the start button. Next we have uh, these options over here to select desktop. You can switch from one desktop to another. Next we have the CPU usage monitor. Next, we have a RAM indicator, hard disk storage, time and I mean time and date. Next we have the media player, the volume indicator, brightness indicator, Bluetooth connection indicator and then we have the battery indicator. At the bottom we have the floating dock and on this dock we have Alacrity, Firefox browser, Thuna file manager, Genie text editor, the XFCE terminal and settings. Alacrity is more like a, a terminal so you can run commands from, from Alacrity. Firefox is the default browser that comes pre-installed. Thunar file manager. Nothing new here. Then we have the XFC terminal. Just like Alacrity, you can run commands from here, install packages, update your system, and so forth. Then after that, we have settings. Now this is where you configure your system. You can start with the appearance of your system. You can change style, icons, fonts. Now under display, configure the resolution of your PC. Then we have Bluetooth adapters over here. There's no app drawer. Archcraft is using open box. So to access application, you can either click the start and search from here or simply press the window button on your keyboard. It does the same thing. Search for Firefox and it shall bring. To add this screen, just click outside of it. Now let's go back to the welcome screen. In case you decide to install it, you can use the Calamaris installer. It might take a while to launch. I won't be installing right now so I'm going to cancel this one for now. You can also use the launch abif to install. It's almost the same installer but this one looks more like um, it uses the terminal. Now let's take a tour of Archcraft. When you go under get started, this window over here about Archcraft, uh, you're told it's minimal, stunning, powerful. Then we go to about it and then you have more information about Archcraft and you are given an overview of what to expect and what uh, openbox looks like let's go to learn more about openbox they say openbox is a lightweight powerful highly configurable stacking window manager which allows you to change every aspect of how you interact with your desktop so this is how apps display on your desktop then we have the bspmw which is the the window manager you can read more about this one over here. The thing about Archcraft is that they have this thing called key bindings which are like uh, shortcuts that can help you to easily navigate through Archcraft and do various things. For instance, if I press the window button followed by return and let's see and there we have it. There are actually many commands so you don't have to master all of them just remember the ones that you use you need the most. Then we have tips and other tips is where Archcraft is actually guiding you through on how to do various things on your operating system. You can create your own themes. They also guide you on how to fix invalid or corrupted packages with signature issues. The commands are right here. There is also the commands on how to update your system. They also show you how to add or play or use the music player. You will notice that under premiums you might get extra features. These ones include extra themes apart from the ones available for free by default we only have 10 default themes that are available the keys theme and you know very interesting themes available over here on the desktop if you right click you're presented with a menu you can either open the terminal emulator which is just the terminal right click again you can open the file manager from there just right click and open whatever application you want you can also launch apps from here then you can also open apps as root most of the apps that need root permission you can just right click and open as, as root now under preferences is where you find more settings here you will find open box compositor panels you can change a couple of things from here for instance you can change wallpaper from here pick any wallpaper you want and click apply this one is much better then we have key bindings. The key bindings I told you are the, the same same as the, the shortcuts. So if I point over here you can see I can see the 
short shortcut keys and what to do with them then lock screen and now under system i go to start there's one thing i skipped under preferences and that's the open box and under open box you can go to settings here you can change your theme i'll go straight to desktop you can in increase this number to six and see if i add another one is added right at the top or reduce them to like two or three then we go to margins now and you notice the space on the right on the left at the top and at the bottom i can change that by reducing these margins say on the left and on the right at the same same way the bottom so you can readjust the margins where you want then we go to the dock and the dock is the one at the bottom over here unfortunately i tried to change and uh, the effects are not reflecting i'll just leave that one the way it is we don't have LibreOffice or open office for disk management gparted is pre-installed and now it's asking for a password now i'm in a live environment so the default password the live environment should be the same as the identity i don't want to interfere with my disk for now so i'm going to close that one now if i log out i'll click at the top over there and say live user now let's try neo fetch to update is sudo pacman hyphen s y y u it's the usual arch update process and um thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you like the video